Hi, this is my fifth video of uh, part of my how I made my blog. Um, this is very important thing to add or remove your gadgets in your layout. Layout is nothing but your skeleton of your web page or uh, the blog and the front end. Uh, you can add uh, uh, um, gadgets like uh, Firefox like subscriptions or uh, uh, any other about just uh, content you can display using this uh, add or remove uh, gadgets. Yeah. See here, it's my blog and the, the testing blog which I'm creating now. This is uh, Wikipedia gadget, become a fan gadget. Blah, blah, blah. These are all empty because I, did, I didn't include anything. This is just I'm going to show you how to add or uh, remove the gadgets in the background as well as in the front end. Here, that uh, see, this is the um, follow is gadgets here, and this is the Google Plus follow is gadgets. This is a pre installed the template we installed at the uh, this is my original blog huh, that I have had at this. Uh, this is AdSense um, gadget. This is fan followers and Charpage, Wikipedia, and uh, followers gadgets. Yeah. This is another test uh, um, website which we are creating now. Here and now, I am going to remove this in the front end itself uh, because already we have logged in. It will be showing uh, the settings button. Just click the settings button. First thing, I am just renaming it for your reference and uh, see I'm just refreshing this uh, now it's gonna see it's display this a fan follow yes uh, now I'm gonna remove this now um, uh, just clicking this uh, settings button here it's an option to be there remove just remove this canton that's it the ball that I mean the box will be disappeared so the next thing is this is the Google Plus bias box but this, we cannot see the settings options here so what I'm gonna do it is uh, uh, just I'm gonna do it and I mean remove it in the back end so go to my um, layout options here this is the action skeleton of your web page or block here you can edit or remove what are the content uh, it's uh, it's like it's like we are just building with a brick with an easy options so here it's uh, going to remove this box. See, I'm just editing this. Here, click the remove button and click OK. That's it. See, uh, whatever the changes you're making, just um, click the save range button for them. <laughs> Complete saving options. So now, just going to do this now. This is the title of my um, page and the descriptions which I added. If you don't want, you can remove this. And this is an um, I'm adding a new gadget to like translate gadget to my web page now. So just click this options and click whatever you want you name it and just click save this. That's it. It will be added here. So just click save orange button. Go and refresh your page. See your block now. The translation translate button will be added automatically because we did it in the back end. See all these pages I mean the boxes will be empty now as of now as we didn't have anything add. So uh, <coughs> wherever you want you can add or remove the gadgets it's very, it will be very useful um, when you don't want the unwanted uh, uh, gadgets to, to exclude in the Pre-defaulted templates. So uh, that's it um, for this add or remove gadgets and layout. And I am going to start with my next video with the um, lesson so for how to use the uh, how to label and how to integrate your uh, uh, topics within the post and to publish your arch first article. That's it. Thank you for watching my video. I'll meet you on next video with more information. Please subscribe my channel www.youtube.com/slash tech. Please, thank you. Bye.